Welcome to another video. I am the Starman, and as the title of this video says, I managed to capture the comet, Comet A3 Shunshinshan, I hope I said that right, Atlas. I actually managed to photograph it last night from Blackpool. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but to start the video, I just want to say thanks for everyone who's joined the channel recently. The last video I did on the Aurora has done really, really well. I went out to capture, you know, we've been so blessed lately. We've had so many things going on and we had our second amazing display, super strong display of Aurora last week. If you haven't seen the video, it's the last one I did. Go and check it out. The skies lit up. Loads of people saw the Aurora in the UK and all over the world that have never seen it before at lower latitudes because a super strong CME hit the earth and it caused all sorts of interactions with the magnetic field causing us to see this magnificent display of aurora so i just want to thank everyone that watched that video and has subscribed to my channel i'm now over eight thousand followers i've been doing this since um, january 2018 so it's been a bit of a long slog but i think i might finally be getting somewhere but anyway on to the comet now i've been talking about this comet over the last few videos or so comet a3 atlas we'll just call it that for for short because that's a bit easier to say last night you, you could actually see it before sunrise a few weeks ago but you had to be in the you really had to be in the the, the southern hemisphere i think to have a good chance of, of seeing it but now it's come around the sun it's gone around the sun it's done it's passed by the sun and last night saturday night was probably the first proper night where you could get a decent um picture of it when it as it comes around the sun it's a bit too close to the sun to photograph before but now you can actually photograph and i actually went out and took a picture of it i couldn't see it because i was shooting blind and i was just shooting into the sky the weather was terrible i just want to show you now a little bit of where i was i was on blackpool promenade and this is during the illumination we have these illuminations here in blackpool every year at this time of year they light up all the promenade it's not great it's not very good for astronomy and look at all these cars here and i chose the promenade just where this uh, big massive mirror ball thing <laughs> not the best location really to choose for photographing a comet but it was it was the easiest place i could get parked and i managed to just go up there and nip up there onto the to the promenade and i set my camera up and i set the camera up at 70 millimeter i didn't zoom in i just put put had a zoom lens but i set it to 70 mil could have gone up to 300 but, but i thought no way the wind was shocking it was terrible the wind was blowing at me the rain was uh, well there was bits of rain coming down as well it was awful the weather was terrible and i managed to get this picture here and bear in mind that I just pointed the camera at the sky, at the clear part, the clearest part of the sky that I could see. The comet was almost due west, not quite, slightly south of west. If you can see the comet there, and hopefully you can see it, I'll just put another picture on now where I've arrowed it. There you go. It's not very big, but now that i've pointed it out you can clearly see there's a comet there i couldn't see it at the time it was more to do with the weather or oh, the the wind the wind was coming at me it was buffeting me it was absolutely awful it was terrible terrible i did my best in the conditions i'm just going to zoom in now so here we are you can definitely see it now now the tail of the comet was hidden a little bit by the cloud the cloud was rolling across it just kept rolling and rolling you know i almost didn't even bother trying I really didn't because it was so bad. The weather was terrible. The wind was coming at us. I had to, I had to wait for a rainstorm to pass over before I went out because I thought I don't want to get my camera all wet. But then I decided there was a clear enough patch in the sky to go out and try to photograph the comet. And I didn't even know that I'd got it until I got back to my van and I looked at all the pictures on the camera and I zoomed into the, the clear bits and I thought, I wonder if I can see some. I'm looking like a fuzzy blob in, in the clear patch of the sky. And I saw it, I thought, there it is. I, found, I knew straight away I'd got it uh, because I'd taken pictures of comets and things like that before. I knew kind of what i was looking for now other people have photographed it better than me they maybe had better conditions but i did what i could the weather was uh, like i said the wind 
the wind was awful and it's blurry. All the pictures I got were blurry. I'll just show you the next picture I got. This is the next picture I took here. The comet is on this. This is a wide fit. You're getting to see the, what, the whole view here. It's tiny in the field of view, but this picture here uh, was a little bit too blurry unfortunately but anyway i did take another picture which came out not too bad still blurry but if we have a look at this picture here you can actually see a bit more of the tail because the tail was actually hidden on the previous picture i took it does have quite a bit of a tail to it i was looking at someone's picture the guy off sky at night pete lawrence and i was looking at his picture on x he's got a, a his handle is averted vision on x if you want to see it check it out uh, and he got a good picture of it i think he's on the south coast and you can see a proper tail to the comet now i'm just looking at an article about the comet now it does say here 12th of october the putting down and it was the 12th yesterday saturday i did mention that saturday the 12th of october would be the the first time that we'd get a decent sight of it as it comes away from the sun because it's made its closest approach to the sun and i believe this is its closest approach to earth so now it's going to start to move away is it going to get dimmer probably it's going to move into a darker sky at the same time it's going to move away from the sun so as we go through this week it's not looking too bad take some binoculars out with you and just scan the sky now i'm just going to put stellarium on now we're going to have a little look at stellarium this is stellarium this is the what we're seeing now after sunset and you can see on here we've got these trees in there and the comet is very very low down at the moment after sunset it's really really low down but as we uh, just something else i want to mention as well can you see that star arcturus up there you see that bright star arcturus now if you use that sky that star as a guide to find in this comet because Arcturus is a very very bright star and if you um, if you use that as a reference it'll help you to find the comet because it's at the moment for the next couple of days it's pretty much underneath that star and to the left but as the week goes on if we go through the days of this week keep going through the day notice how the comet gets further and further away from that glare of the sun, sun as it goes down it gets away from that twilight as we go through the week and as we go up towards the 17th here you can see that it's now getting into a pretty dark part of the sky so it's looking pretty good for the comet i just want to let you know that there's a great chance to get out there and photograph it i managed to do it but the weather was against me unfortunately i didn't manage to see it i didn't have my binoculars either i didn't even take my binoculars out can you believe that i should have took my binoculars out because that's what you need the binoculars you really need the binoculars to to be able to spot it and maybe maybe once you've spotted it you might just be able to see it with the naked eye we don't i don't know we don't know but the weather's not looking too great where I am over the next few days, uh, hopefully sometime into this week. But the earlier you can get the comet, I would say the better, um, if you can, because you never know, uh, it could fade away. I hope it doesn't. Hopefully it will stay bright as it moves into a, as it moves into a darker part of the sky. It, uh, it may become a bit more easily visible. So um, I'm going to leave it there now. I managed to get the comet and pleased with what I've got. It's a shame that I couldn't get a clear shot of it because of the weather, but hopefully I'll get another chance next week. And if you want to spot it yourself, hopefully this, this video has given you some idea about how to spot it. Look for the bright star Arcturus out towards the west after sunset. You can't miss it. About half an hour after sunset, you'll start to see it twinkling there in the sky. And then just scan down below that and to the left and hopefully you'll see the comet. But don't forget as we go past later this week and then into next week it's going to start the comet's going to move away from that part of the sky but i'll keep you up to date on it hopefully i'll get another chance to photograph it get your binoculars out have a look out towards the west after sunset wait until about maybe half an hour after sunset start scanning the skies with your binoculars and hopefully you'll be able to see this comet so i'm going to leave it there now folks uh, Thanks to all those people that have recently joined the channel. I'm thrilled to be over 8,000 subscribers. It's taken a long time. I'll see you again on the next video. And don't forget to keep looking up.